Hello, I'm Jay Dutch and welcome to Dogstar Gaming. In today's video we'll be reviewing The Walking Dead Season 2, played on the Xbox One. We'll be breaking the game down as always into four parts, story, gameplay, level design and graphics and sound, and then giving our final score out of 10, but be warned, there will be spoilers. So with that said, let's get us started. The Walking Dead Season 2 is an episodic interactive story game based on Robert Kirkman's The Walking Dead comic book series, developed by Telltale Games. It's the sequel to The Walking Dead which we previously reviewed and we absolutely love that game. This game uses the same narrative structure as the first season, where player choices will have an impact on story elements. If you've played the previous game, the choices you've made will be carried over. So to get us started, we're going to talk about the story. So I won't be going through the whole story as that is the main part of this game. I will only be giving my overall view without giving away too much. You play as Clementine, the little girl you were protecting in the first. It starts off not too far after the first game ended and you're with Omid and Krista and thrown right back into it immediately. I was drawn in with some huge surprises. The twists and choices are better than ever and the first half is really full on with a lot of new faces and the group moving from place to place. You really do get the feel that Clementine has grown up a lot since the first game and she is definitely not treated as a little girl anymore. You'll meet some old faces along the way and have to choose your friends carefully. It's very well written and in this type of game the story is the most important part and Telltale have once again got it spot on. Now on to our next point, gameplay. The choices you make sometimes are more difficult than ever. The decision countdown timer is still there and I think it's great because you don't have much time to think about each choice, which is the best part. You decide where the story goes. What type of character Clementine is? Is she quiet, scared little girl? or a drinking, smoking, zombie killing badass. The choice is yours. I did however feel that there wasn't many interactive parts. A lot of the game is dialogue and there's not too many parts to explore or puzzles to solve. I did feel as though I was just watching a TV series rather than playing a game, which brings me on to level design. The locations were perfect and continued the dark feel of the first. Everything was a lot more detailed and had a lot of background action. As I said, there's not a lot to explore. You usually have one room with three or four things to look at, which was a bit disappointing. There is a part where you have to escape a shed and enter a house. This is very good with a lot of ways to enter the house and also various rooms to search when you're inside but the rest was quite quick and simple and that brings us on to our final point graphics and sound the graphics are in the same style as the first but a lot more polished it looks great the characters faces were very detailed and you can really see the emotion I used headphones while playing and I really recommend you do that also there's a lot of noises in the background such as creaking floors and doors and screams that you would normally miss when you listen through your TV and it really adds to the whole experience so for our final verdict on The Walking Dead Season 2, well to be honest I'm a bit divided. The story was amazing, there's some moments where you'll be like what the f*** just happened? But I did get bored at some points, the lack of interaction was a problem for me, I really didn't feel as though I was involved enough, felt that some parts you control were pretty pointless, such as walking through a door or handing something to someone, 10 seconds of interaction, but the story was so good, like really good, if it was just based on the story we'll be giving a 9 out of 10, but overall this is a game and a game should be played, so the final score we'll be giving The Walking Dead Season 2 is a 7 out of 10. At parts I couldn't look away, and then there was others I'd find myself scrolling through Sky Sports on my phone. It is a great game, but you should definitely try the first before you start this one as it will really help you connect with the characters. I hope you enjoyed our review. Please let us know in the comments if you've played The Walking Dead Season 2 and what you thought. Hit the like button and be sure to subscribe for more gaming news and reviews. Until next time, take care.